If you're not storing your content in somewhere centrally that you can easily see the content you've posted so that you can reuse it, repurpose it, and actually save yourself a ton of time, then you're wasting 80% of your effort. Now, whether you're a solopreneur, you have a small team, but selling your products and services online can sometimes feel like we turn into this full-time content creator. Now, likely is that's not what you want to do, but we know that showing up on social media, creating content that's going to attract our ideal customers and clients and sell our stuff is really important, but doing it in a smart and systemized way can save you so much time, so much brain power. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can have your content all together in a centralized content hub. I'm going to show you the power of a tool that I switched to maybe a year ago that has absolutely changed how I view my content and how I use it going forward. So I'm going to give you a little preview of what you can do with it and some simple tips that are going to help you stay organized and create more of a system and a process around your content workflow. So in case you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Jenny Stevens and I help other solopreneurs and online business owners to systemize their business, make it more efficient so that things feel easier and you can save more time and create more flexibility and freedom in your life. And I love geeking out on tools and tech and automations and stuff. And so make sure that you are subscribed, you hit that bell so that you get notified with new videos as they come out. I'm going to be creating kind of like a series, especially around content and ways that you can automate it and systemize it more. So there's definitely going to be lots more coming up. So again, make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out. Okay, so let's dive in and let's talk about content. Now, I want you to just first think about your own process right now. So if you're a coach, you're a service provider, you're a course creator, you're selling digital products, whatever you're doing, creating content for the online world, whether you like it or not, is a part, is a part of your business, right? It's something that has to be done. Now, there's so many different ways that we can talk about marketing. I've done a whole other video and lots of my brilliant new business show episodes about that. So you can go and check out videos on that. But it is a part of running a business. We need to have a way that people can find us, that we can share our expertise, show the things that we're passionate about and that we're great at, and obviously then make an offer and sell our stuff, right? We need to make money. That's where, what we're in a business for. And content is a big part of that, but it can be very overwhelming. It can end up taking up so much of our time. And I'm absolutely talking from personal experience here. And so this is why I'm so passionate about this area because consistency is not one of my strong points. Um, you know, showing up and creating loads and loads and loads of new content has been a bit of a nemesis of mine. So I'm always finding ways with how I can make things easier, cut down the time it takes me, ways, tools, tech, and now we have automations, we have AI. There's so many different ways that we can make this easier so you can make sure that you're having content that is out there so you can be found, people can find you, get to know you, fall in love with you and buy your stuff. And creating this centralized content hub has absolutely been a huge game changer. And so I wanna kind of show you some of the things where I've like, what I used to do, what I do now, and how you can really pull things together so it can be right for you, customized for your business, your processes, how you like to work, and that's what we're gonna do. So first off, why do we need a content hub? So there are millions of pieces of content posted online every single day, and think about how much you post each day and what you're doing, you know, and everyone's going to have slightly different ways and things that they're doing. But if you're, you know, using social media, which a lot of people will be, you're probably going to be posting a few posts a week, maybe daily, you're going to be posting stories, you're going to be creating videos, you're going to be probably creating some graphics in Canva, you're probably going to be creating you're going to be writing posts. You might be doing email marketing as well. So you're going to be having emails. You might be doing videos for YouTube. You might have a podcast. Like it's never ending, right? And so one of the things that just is going to make your life so much easier if you're not already is having a way to organize your content. Now, I bet you probably have a million different photos on your phone, right? 
here, there and everywhere. I mean, I, my, I dread to think how many I have on my phone for those kind of off the cuff things or if you're filming TikToks or reels, whatever. So you're going to have loads of stuff on your phone. You've probably got a load of stuff on your content. I bet you've got a load of content in your downloads folder. You've got things in Google Docs, in your notes app, on your phone, here, there and everywhere, right? So if you want to be able to find stuff that you've posted and maybe reuse it or maybe you want to repurpose it and maybe turn a video into a carousel maybe you want to take um a written post that you've done and make an easy b-roll reel for example how easy would that be for you right now if i said right go and do this now i'll give you 20 minutes to do that how easy would it be for you to find content that's worked really well um that you can find what you did and be able to repurpose it, repost it, reuse it, whatever you want to do with it. That's the problem. You can be searching through, you know, scrolling through your feed for days, trying to find stuff that worked. Um, just looking back to go, right, actually, when I've launched a program before, actually, I'm going to relaunch this course or program. What was the content that I posted back then? You don't want to be creating new all the time. And so when you could organize it, it helps you see what you've created and it helps you go, oh, actually, do you know what? That's really relevant for now. Um, I'm talking about the same topic. I'm going to just make some tweaks or I can repost it as it is, or I'm going to repurpose it and turn it into a different format. Now I can see that and I can easily do that um, in just a short fraction of the time. So when I first created my own content hub, I used Trello and I love Trello. So I'm going to show you kind of what that originally looked like. And I used Trello for a long time because I liked that it was free. It was very simple to use. I had loads of different boards for different things. Um, and then a friend told me about another tool called Airtable. And over the last six months, probably nine months, maybe even a year. I can't remember when she told me about it. It's probably been under a year, I'd say. I've been using it more and more and learning more and more about it. And I absolutely love it now. And so I want to show you the power of how Airtable can give you things that Trello couldn't. There was things that I love about Trello and I still find it easier for certain things. But the reason that I then decided to move was because it wasn't giving me the flexibility to view my content in different ways how I wanted it to. So let's flip you around and let's show you what you can do. So this was my first content hub in Trello. So I love the fact that I could have kind of easy, you know, quick to find things like links and um, my different pillars. I created a space for FAQs. I had like ideas that I would just dump in and then I could store my content in these different columns. So I would have kind of connection, get to know me posts. I'd have then my different categories that I would talk about um, and I would organize them, you know, so then I created custom fields that really, really helped and I could create different kind of categories and I could organize it in a way so that, um, you know, all of the marketing stuff, when I tagged it, it would all go in here. I could see visually, you know, the different posts of things that I've had. And so, and I could also then come into one and I would have my different labels to say what, what was happening where. And I would then obviously have the post in here and blah, blah, blah. So here was all the different things that I created. So this worked really well for a long time. So I could, again, organize it i could find stuff if i wanted to promote a product you can see i even created it i've got a template bundle where i have a template of this um and so it posts that i wanted to reshare i could just come in i had the image there i had the content and i could copy and paste and post but the thing was is that you know this can look like a lot um and i wasn't able to necessarily kind of filter you can filter by some things in trello so i could filter by certain things but it didn't necessarily i knew that something was missing then i learned about airtable so with airtable it then allows you to create different views so i have all of my content that i moved from trello over here right and you can create all of your different columns for different things right so i have kind of like 
a brief description. I also then connect it with if I'm launching products. Now I'm doing a big overhaul on my own content hub right now. So this isn't finalized in terms of I'm doing, I'm actually moving some of my launch content um, to a different tab. I then had the email copy caption, the date, I created the pillars, what the offer was, status, performance, content type. Like I've created a lot and it's constantly evolving as I think actually I don't need that anymore or I wanna add this in. But here's the beauty of Airtable. So this is kind of like everything, right? It's called a list view, but then I could also have like a Trello view. And so this is kind of in this board view, but you can then filter and um, view your content in different ways. So based on all of these, you know, different fields that I've created, so I could view all my content based on my offers, right? So I've got ones where it's kind of a DM, I've got my different lead magnets, I've got my offers, um, for a webinar, you know, so you can obviously create as many offers, lead magnets as you've got. And I can now see, right, if I want to promote my lead magnet, that's all about different ways that you can market. Here are all the posts that I've got. And I have done about that. If I want to promote um, a webinar, here's all of the posts where I have previously posted that's got the call to action for that webinar so it allows you to do that and if you want to you could even then filter where you only see that particular call to action i can obviously have a calendar view and i can view it like that i can look at content by status is it planned am i is it in progress am i waiting to do something is it published right and so and you can create all of these custom views that's right for you. And this is the beauty of Airtable. So I have created a load. And then more recently, I've added ones in. So if you have a team or even just for your own sake, for me right now, it's just me. Um, but I've been, say, upgrading my my own content hub. So I'm kind of adding some of my own workflow and, workflow and process into him. But if I want to come in and go, right, here's the post where I need to tweak it so especially where i'm using ai if i want to come in and i want to add you know jenny's voice a bit more into it and make it sound a bit more human then i can now filter that by the ones that are have been tagged there it's in review if i want to look at just all the stuff that's been published i can do that here if i want to look at just emails i can do that here and then i've also created a form so you know when you just post naturally like off the cuff you've done written the post you've posted it and you want to add it into your um content hub then there's like a, an easy form that just gives you the stuff that you want you can add it in and it's going to then go into your content hub so this is kind of like everything all in here and then i've also created the planner because the thing i liked about trello was i liked the fact that i could move things around so i've actually created a planner so i can again choose how i view the content and plan it do i want to plan it based on the kind of the goal do i want to plan it based on the date do i want to plan it based on the type of content that it is again and then i can see it as a plan right what content is going on what platform so get instagram facebook TikTok, and i can kind of see it in different ways and then I've automated that once I've finished planning it and I'm, I've just, you know, done a bit of a brain dump and I'm actually now going to create the content itself. I hit to do and it's going to automatically move to here. So it's really, really powerful. Now, I did create a simple template. So if you want to be able to get a kind of ready done, very simple template, obviously, I know mine can probably look quite overwhelming with all these different tabs. So I wanted to create a simple template that's done for you. So I've created a load of the sort of views for you that you would likely perhaps want to see. I've just put in a couple of examples here that you can see um, with an idea that you might have, the caption, the status, etc. And you can customize all of this. You can add 
more columns with different things that you want. Um, and in the next video, I'm actually going to show you how to build your own content hub from scratch, if that's something that you would like. But if you want to kind of get a ready done one, you can go and grab this. There'll be a link in the description below that you can go and grab it and you can see you'll be able to see all of your content with these different views and have a bit of a workflow that if you want to be able to review stuff and approve it, whether that's for you to publish, now you can go and publish those things, or it might be for a team as well, you've got this ready to go. And the Airtable has so many different features. That's why I'm going to create some more videos where we talk more about the capabilities of Airtable, but hopefully this sort of shows you the power of having your content organized, why it's so important to think about what you want to see from your content, what categories you might want, what, you know, drop downs might you want? How might you want to look at your content? Like literally yesterday I was doing some batching and I was doing, looking at the plan that I had created. And I thought, you know, actually I can cut a lot of this new, new content that I was planning to create from scratch. And I went and I filtered, looked at other content I had created. And I took an old email that I, that I sent last year. I tweaked it slightly. I changed the call to action and I sent it to my email list and it's going out to my social today. And that's the power. It means that you can create less. It means that you're not feeling so much pressure to always think of brand new ideas. You can literally come in, look at your content, and you can even add in your metrics. If you want to be able to track how well posts are performed, you can even add a whole section with the metrics that you can then um, look at your best performing posts. So you can see, actually, this one did really, really well. People responded to it. This was a dud. And tweak it. You might go, do you know what? Let's try a different hook. Let's try a new image. Let's maybe take Take this written post and record a, a reel or a TikTok, you know? And so you can just take the work that you've already done once and tweak things or just reshare the best ones that did well. Share it again, you know, several months later. Think about how fast social media like revolves, right? Posts that you did, you're not going to remember them. Your audience isn't going to remember stuff that you posted a long time ago. And even if they do, if they enjoyed it, like seeing it again. Repetition is great, right? And Airtable really is a powerful tool that I highly recommend. And it's just absolutely changing the game for me. And I'm now taking it to like next level shit where I'm now connecting with automation and AI that it's literally I'm creating so you can click a button and it can repurpose or it can um, create stuff from scratch. It can take my videos, for example, and it can create me a transcript automatically and it can add all of those assets and connect it to Airtable. So it's like triple whammy. So I'm going to be doing another video on that. So again, make sure you are subscribed so you get notified when that comes out. That's where things can get really, really clever if you want it. But if you just want something simple just to get started with, I recommend that you grab the template um, and build, build it out and play around with it and see how you find it. So if you go and check this video, I'm actually going to show you a walkthrough of how you can actually create a content hub from scratch. If you want to be able to learn more about how to use it, then go and check that out now. And then we can walk, work along together with you building out your content hub and look out in the description as well. Cause sometimes I love doing live workshops. So if you would prefer more of the accountability and we can work through it together, you can ask me questions. Then I do run live workshops, obviously virtual ones where we can actually build out things together. And so, you know, check below, there might be a wait list or there might be a date for when we can do this together. If you would like more of that handholding and we can do it together, get shit done kind of thing. You can ask questions, get my help and we can actually get you building stuff, get your content moved in here and all the things. So I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to know how do you currently store your content? Is it a hot mess and it's just everywhere? Or do you have some kind of system right now that is working for you? Or perhaps are you thinking, actually, this looks like the thing that can really help me get more organized and save some of that brain space. So let me know in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.